Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo, and welcome to episode 35 of my Minecraft survival series. We're starting today's episode in our stable, where we had some trouble at the end of last episode. You might remember that the horses were escaping, uh, so we went with a more traditional means of keeping them in their in their you know individual stalls. It's uh gonna be trapdoors, and they're happy. Even Mr. Red, the escape artist extraordinaire, he's not going anywhere. Um, so I think this is pretty much it like the stable as far as i'm concerned is done for now until we're ready to go and you know work on the back and get everything all nice and pretty but that's going to take place after we finish our city wall right here uh but another problem we ran into at the end of last episode was our guest sawyer the fourth went missing and you know we could try to bring another one over the same way we brought him over because they're not that hard to get from the nether into the overworld it's once they're over here though they could cause some trouble and now we have a lot more stuff a lot more fragile stuff around that he could potentially destroy if we did that so i I've, I've been thinking of a solution um i'll get to that in a second but first did you guys notice I, I tore down one of our last remaining villager houses to make some room here so we just have this one right here and this one right here left and they are actually going to be gone uh fairly soon so that's going to be it for our original village that's that's it that's gonna be gone uh we'll replace it with all new stuff but yeah um over here back to back to the plan we need a renewable way a repeatable way to get gas up in here so that way we can continue to break logs so you can see i've replaced the floor with half slabs top slabs so i was thinking we could ride the gas up here and you know we could make a place to actually get them like our holding area down here where we could get the gas we could ride them up here and they won't take any damage theoretically coming up here since they won't be traveling through any full blocks so that's a potential idea like i don't know if this is going to work or not this could be this could be craziness but i think we could have an underground gas holding area that rides up into this workspace up here and i don't know, I don't know. Let, let me clear some of this area out and and we'll see if this works or not i have no idea and we're back and i have a hole dug i dug a hole i have my sawyer the fifth name tag on me i believe we are on sawyer the fifth at this point it's kind of hard to remember uh but yeah um let's go ahead and talk about the plan so you might notice that this area is significantly smaller than the original one we had for capturing our sawyers and that's because i need them contained in as small an area as possible in order to get them into the minecart right here um so i'm fully expecting that the first few at least will probably die because i want to keep this as small as possible like I'm, I'm not expecting this to work on the first second or even third attempt but i am prepared to do multiple attempts because getting them from the nether into the overworld is, is the easy part so once they are over here that is where the fun begins uh so i've made some little hidey holes some little little pockets where i can kind of peek out of and what i'm thinking is we can get a fishing rod and kind of pull him left right up down however we need to pull him to get him into this minecart uh which is stopped now for some reason did i walk in front of it i might have so once he is in the minecart then we'll come back over here we will put a piece of track down right here which should connect those and take him all the way up to his work area upstairs that is the plan at least let's hope it works so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure this portal actually links up with the portal in our gas room in the nether so let's pop on through and check that out mm, okay yes 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 all right so perfect that lines up perfectly hopefully it's the same way going back through on the return trip fingers crossed and yes yes we're home all right awesome so all that's left to do now is we'll go ahead and grab a fishing rod and then we'll try to catch Sawyer the fifth or at least his precursors so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i don't know why i went around the long way but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll be right back all right a fishing rod has been obtained and i feel woefully underprepared i did not do any fire resistance potions i'm realizing we also have fires everywhere oh man this is gonna be bad i'm not going to use the name tag once uh once this next gas spawns i should have brought some cobble oh okay okay we have a gas we have a gas uh we have to not name tag him so we need to put this away and oh no did i name tag him what did i do with it what did i do with the name tag oh no please tell me i just dropped it i think i just dropped it oh man i'm still getting used to the controls again <laughs> there it is okay perfect 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 all right so we have to not name tag him but we do have to get him through the portal uh, because there is a strong possibility i would say an 80 to 90 percent chance that he will not survive this trip to the overworld hopefully he survives at least getting to the portal <laughs> hopefully i survive getting to the portal because i am on fire right now hopefully my armor can take it i think we have good durability on this armor right now um but come on come on just go why <laughs> they're so stubborn aren't they oh man 
Just go, go. Pushing him might not be the best method of doing this, but that's like what's okay. That's what what has worked for me the best so far. All right, so let's go ahead and head on through, and we'll see just where he spawns in the overworld, like in relationship to the portal itself. And because before it was at the top left, and this time it appears okay. So he's at like the mid to top left of the portal. That's interesting because it's right from looking at the portal from the back, but you know, left if we're out in front of the portal. Uh, so that's that's interesting if they if they just spawn in that area naturally. Anyway, what I have to do is I have to carve out some area for him to actually survive in in this part of the the portal room. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that, and we'll get ready for attempt number two. Now that we have a little bit more space in here, hopefully the next one will survive the return trip. Um, I made it a little bit wider in case he, you know, in case there's some variation between where he spawns in the overworld. Uh, but I wanted to keep it short because we have no problem pushing him. It's if he gets too high, he's definitely hard to get down. So let's go ahead and give attempt number two a shot. And this time I, I have some cobblestone on me, so we can go ahead and start filling in some of these craters that uh, these past gas have left. Uh, because, well, number one, they make it so it's a non-spawnable space, right? So we have to have the gas spawn here. We also need to make sure that we don't fall down into them uh, because that makes it hard for us to get out. And also, if he blasts any more of this out, I'm not sure how thick this floor actually is. And I know that there's, at least I think there's a lava lake beneath us. And that's why we don't really have an issue with getting these gas to spawn because there's not really many spawnable surfaces anywhere else in this area. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in as much of this area as I can before the next one spawns. And I'll be back with you guys in just a few. Now, I'm mainly worried just about the middle here. Like I'm gonna leave some of the fires burning along the outside because that's what you and I are both gonna be using to see. Otherwise it's gonna be super dark here since it is in the nether. Um, but I just wanna get this middle path kind of cleared out so that way you know i don't have to worry about falling in any holes i don't have to worry about catching on fire as we run up to the guest hello oh perfect you are in perfect position my friend just stay right there just stay right there okay this guy is it see I, if only they would all spawn in such convenient locations hopefully we can get him through here without incident yes 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 okay so let's see if we cleared out enough space for him on the other side now all right, fingers crossed, guys. And he's alive. He's alive. That's a good sign. Let me hide. <laughs> okay, so he is alive. That is a good sign. That means we did clear out enough space for him. Uh, should we name tag him now? Or no, no, because we need to make sure we can actually get him in the cart from here. So it'd be smart to hold on to the name tag for now. Um, oh, please don't blow up any of my rails. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's uh, try to pull him from this way. Because we need to try to get him over this way just slightly. So that is not going to work. We might have to go through the door. Um, oh, the ceiling. He's, he's up higher than I expected. Uh, mm, we might need to pull him down lower or get rid of some of that ceiling in order to get him to where he needs to be. Let's see if we can kind of get this angle on him. That's not working, is it? That is not working at all. Okay, um, hmm. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of this, uh, okay. This is just, just calm down. Let's try to get rid of, you know what? We'll get rid of the nether portal instead. How about that? Let's get rid of the nether portal instead. And, okay, come on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make you more comfortable. Really? You're just gonna, oh, now I'm on fire. Now I am on fire. Okay, um, this, this could be problematic. You need to come down lower. Okay. Okay. And he started the portal again. Come on. Just... <laughs> I'm going to force him through here. He's going to come through here. Like, we're going to open this area up more since we know how much space he actually needs. But I want this guy to at least come through here so we can get him up into the farm. Because that's where he needs to be. The minecart is stopped, of course, right when we get him into position. All right. So we need to start that thing back up again. Hopefully, he didn't break the rail. Hopefully, it just stopped on its own. All right. So... Uh, Go! Go! Okay, perfect. Come on, back over here. You... No. It's, okay, the rail is definitely broken because there's no reason why it should have... Just... Ah, uh, oh, come on! <laughs> this is... This is ridiculous. Yep, there's my broken piece of rail right there. Alright, so at this point, it's becoming obvious. Like, I, I've been going at this for a little bit, and it's becoming obvious that I'm not going to get this guy where he needs to be. So I think that our best option at this point 
Let's just go ahead and take them out. And that way we can go ahead and clear out like some of the area that we actually need to have cleared out to easily, well, I'm not going to say easily, but more easily get this guy to where he needs to be. So I think we need to have an area under here where we can pull him from underground. That should help a little bit at least. And I don't know. Let me try to rework this real quick and then I'll meet you back here in just a few. So for attempt number three, we're going to route the minecart up this way since this is where he likes to hang out anyway. Hopefully we can get him into it with a little bit less work if we do it like this. I don't know. It's a possibility. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this again. Now, eventually I do want to get this room, like to where the gas aren't going to blow craters in the floor. I want to get all cobblestone out. I'm not too worried about it right now. Uh, right now, I'm just worried about what we got going on in the overworld. So I'm just going to hang out here in the back of the room and wait for one to spawn. So you know how they say a watched pot never boils? Well, uh, the same might be true for gas because nothing is spawning in this room. And it's been like maybe a... Oh, nope. Here we go. Here we go. I just had to turn my back. That's, that's all it was. I just had to turn my back and there he is. All right. Awesome. All right. Come on. We got to get you through here into your new home. Oh, man. Are you guys tired of seeing me push gas through portals yet? <laughs> if so, maybe we'll just go ahead and cut to uh, whatever terrible fate awaits the sky on the other end of this. Okay, uh, so we're through the portal. He's through the portal, and he is right there. Um, he's a little bit more over than I was expecting him to be. Uh, that's okay. Maybe we can fish him down just a little bit. No, we can't because <laughs> our fishing rod's broke. Uh, but that's okay. We can go ahead and make a new fishing rod. And, oh, no, what is this? He's, he's, he's on the cart. He's on the cart. He got on the cart by himself. That is a good sign. I mean, he died, but he got on the cart by himself. Um, so let's go ahead and investigate what actually killed him. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of solid blocks. Like he was, yeah, he died right over here. He's like traveling through this wall right here. Uh, we need to go ahead and get rid of this wall. He's too wide. He, he's got too much girth for his own good. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, try to fix some of this area up, make it a little bit more comfortable of a ride for these gas. And uh, we will uh, try it again. This is science, guys. Nothing works right the first time, okay? This, this, he, this one is trying to run on us. <laughs> he is the first one, I think, that has actually made an attempt at, like, not going through the portal. Like, he, he's not even wanting me to push him. He's like turning and bobbing and weaving. He's got some footwork. He's got the moves. <laughs> I think, uh, oh, oh, no, too low, too low, too low. I don't want to go this low in the floor. Okay, you know what? You need to just accept your fate and get in the portal. Thank you very much. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, like I think I said this earlier. I don't know how thick this floor is, and I definitely don't want to find out because as I recall, there's a lava lake under here. Oh man, that one, that, that, that one. Wow. <laughs> He's got some spirit, I'll tell you what. And uh, you know, that's the kind of attitude that we want from employees in our, uh, in our tree farm. We need, we need a guy that's going to take pride in his, uh, in his work, you know, shooting and blowing stuff up. All right, so we got him on the cart. That was, that was easy. It's a good sign. We're making progress, but he is taking damage on the back wall because I made a mental note of this, guys. I did. I made a mental note to clear out some space for him on the back wall, and then I was just so pumped to get in there that I forgot to do it. Oh, man. Mr. Pigman, I messed up. I'm Yeah, you know I messed up. <laughs> there he goes. All right, so that is that is not our Sawyer the Fifth, unfortunately. Uh, so we need to we need to clear out some space for him along the back, otherwise he's just getting rammed into the solid blocks there. So yeah, I'll handle that, and that should be that should be about it. All right, so I've learned my lesson before. I'm not peeking into the room, not actively watching the room. I'm just peeking around the corner every now and then just to see. And yep, we already have one. That's awesome. Okay, so not watching the room. That, for some reason, seems to help. I'm not sure why. But, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy through here. Hopefully, we've done enough to the room in the overworld to where he's not going to get damaged, at least overly damaged, uh, before we get him into the farm, into his little holding area in the farm. Because we desperately need a ghast in there. Otherwise, we're going to be chopping wood with an axe again. And we cannot have that. <laughs> 
All right, so I don't think we have too much farther to get this guy into the portal. I'm just hoping this one works out. I am ready to have one of these work. I really am. All right, fingers crossed. Here we go. Happy thoughts, guys. Think happy thoughts. Okay, we are in and something is off right off the bat. I don't hear our minecart running. He's right there, but I don't hear our minecart. That's a bad sign. Um, let's get him into position. And then we'll see if we can figure out what happened to our minecart. Oh, man. I wonder if something something else is in here that's on the tracks. Maybe stopped it or something. I don't know. Let's, uh... Okay, we just need one pull. One pull is all it takes to get him into position. All right, maybe another one, too. No, no, two pulls. Two pulls is bad. Just one pull. <laughs> two pulls makes him angry. All right, so let's go ahead and find out what happened to our minecart. It's... Oh! Yeah. Uh, it's it's right there on that power rail that ow, that tilted power rail because I actually turned that off to keep it in position. Um, so we can actually once I stop burning, <laughs> we can pull this switch and get that thing running again. I actually purposely stopped that. All right, so he should be in. Yes, the minecart took him. We can stop him right there. I that's the reason why I turned it off. I wanted to be able to to hold him in place. Um, and it didn't look like he took any damage when he was traveling either, so that's also a great, great sign. Now, all we have to do is get this, uh, this rail in place, and we can send him up to our farm and, and just be done with- I am so glad that you have awesome aim. I, I was- I, I'm actually glad that hit me and not the track. <laughs> oh man, he shot it right through there. Alright, so the track is in place, uh, so we can send this guy off to work now. I am, I am so happy that we actually got one, that we got this thing working. And I mean, it's not easy um, to, to get these guys in here, but you know, it's definitely better than, than risking breaking our, ooh, no, we, we, we don't want to get out. I'm trying to tunnel our way down to the, the switch so we can pull the switch and send them off on our way. Um, but yeah, it's not easy. I want this to be easier than this. I mean, it's better than, than, hi. <laughs> It's better than risking our redstone, like trying to trying to catch him above ground. Uh, but I think we can actually make this a little bit easier, and that's what we're going to work on once we get this guy up there. I just want to make sure he's up in place. I want to make sure that we have one up there in in the little holding area. We have to uh, we have to name the tag this guy though before we send him up. Um, so can I just maybe if we just poke our head out through here and and just throw it on him? <laughs> As a boss, you should be scared of your employees, but I am terrified of this guy. Uh, Sawyer, uh, can can you wear this name tag, please? It's part of the uniform. It's part of the dress code for our tree farm here. All employees must wear name tags. So if you could just put this on yourself. Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right, so I don't think we're forgetting anything else. I think I think he's he's about ready to go. So let's see if he actually made it up there. I'm hoping nothing else went wrong. I'm hoping this... Yes, 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 yes. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, something I didn't think about. Well, I was gonna say something I didn't think about was do they shoot fireballs while they're inside of my cart so we don't have to actually let him out? But the answer is obviously yes. And we've been getting blasted on this whole time. So congratulations to us, our farm is whole again. Our tree farm is whole. I have never been so happy to be shot at by a ghast, but this is awesome. He's in there, he's ready to work. We're not even open for business yet. Like, and he's he's just ready to get started. I love that attitude. Uh, but the next thing we need to work on is the hole we dug. We need to make it look better. We need to add a little bit more functionality to this whole area down here. Um, so as far as looks go, uh, we did some science today and I was thinking maybe like a, kind of a science lab type theme, like an underground science lab. I know it's not super original, but you know, <laughs> I haven't done it before. I was also thinking we maybe add some pistons in here so we don't have to use our fishing rod to get him into position. Uh, I don't know, we'll work on that. I'm still in the rough stages of planning right now, but uh, yeah, let's put on some music and try to figure this out.
Welcome back, my friends. Uh, so we've done some stuff, as you can see from... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Sawyer. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Are you done? Wow. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> So as I was saying, we wanted to have like this science lab type feel to it, right? And uh, we have to have our lab supervised by a team of highly skilled technicians who are going to be in there watching all the stuff going on here. And they've actually dressed this up to make Sawyer more comfortable. You know, he's not just, he's not some lab experiment to these guys. He's an interdimensional being who, who has thoughts and feelings and, and wants to feel comfort in his new home. So... We brought just a little bit of the nether over here to, to have him feel safe and, and comfortable and secure before a minecart shoots out of this thing and scoops him up. <laughs> uh, we ha we've had a, a quite a few little redstone contraptions here. I'll go ahead and show you those real quick. So we have this right here, a uh, double pistol extender with a slime ball can just to kind of push him over this way. Uh, we added these over here, which are going to contain him in this one little area when we're first capturing him. Like this will block that off and prevent our minecart from going past. It'll just bounce off that stair and go you know, through this area until it captures him. Uh, when he's ready to be released, boom, we hit that. That can all actually be controlled from up here in the lab. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and check out the lab itself where we're gonna be, because this whole system can be operated from within this room right here. And as you can see, there's three chairs. It's a three man operation, but we can walk around and do everything ourselves. So as you can see right here, we have our containment area lock. We have our containment area release. So I can't remember if we had it locked or open, uh, but now it should be open uh, in either case. So that'll let you know, Sawyer go through there and go up. Uh, we hit the lock, make sure that works. I haven't actually tested all this stuff. Like I, it's pretty simple. We just ran a line from the button to the piston. Um, but you know, just to make sure <laughs> before we do something silly, yeah, okay, that works. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we can head back up here, try out some of our other systems real quick before we give this thing an actual test run. So we have our hold entity and release entity that actually just controls that powered rail right there. So it turns it on and off. Uh, it turns it off when we want him just to sit right there on the, on the slope. We turn it on when we want to release him into his work area. Uh, let's just make sure we have this locked again. I'm so sketchy about having that open because I don't want I don't want two gas up in our farm over there. <laughs> so reposition entity that just basically controls pistons in the ceiling and that double piston extender I showed you earlier, uh, which is going to position him directly over this rail so the minecart can actually pick him up. Uh, and finally, we have the button here which launches the minecart out to catch him. And keep in mind, all this is just to make it easier for us to get another gas in case Sawyer the fifth goes missing, as Sawyer the fourth did. So you can see here, I've got my Sawyer the Sixth name tag. Uh, he's basically just gonna be sitting here warming the bench until such a day comes that Sawyer the Fifth goes missing. Anyway, uh, I was thinking we could go ahead and test this whole system out by capturing Sawyer the Sixth and just having him wait here. Oh, uh, something else I wanna show you guys. Look, this is what he's gonna be seeing. He's gonna be seeing a little skull, like a skeleton over there controlling his, uh, his uh, destiny. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's head on through. Now, I, I gotta say, I feel pretty confident in the fact that, like, we have- Ow! Are you- Are you serious right now? Are you serious? You're just sitting there waiting for me? <laughs> anyway, I, like I was gonna say, I, I feel pretty confident that all this stuff is gonna work. I, I- I do. So, let's wait for Story of the Six to spawn, and we will find out. I feel like I should have brought more food. This guy is slipping and sliding. He's got some fight in him. He is all over the place. Look at his moves. Wow. I think, uh, I think the cobblestone, I think these guys, <laughs> like, ice skate over cobblestone or something because this guy is just everywhere. He is bobbing, he is weaving, he is moving. Wow, okay. Uh, so this is gonna be kind of difficult to get him through here, but I think if we could just get one good push. Ooh, wow. Okay, that was rough. He's got some fight in him. Sawyer the Six has some fight in him. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's head on through. You know, I, I do apologize if this gets kind of repetitive because you know, it gets repetitive for me too. I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, but it's kind of like, that's what we're doing. We're repeating stuff. We're getting better each time we do it. Hopefully now we can do all this from in this little room right here and save us so much trouble. So let's reposition Sawyer. All right, so that should be good. Um, and then we need to make sure this is locked again, <laughs> even though I know it is. And then we can release our minecart and hopefully capture him on the first attempt. Yes, bingo, perfect. All right, so this whole thing works. Now we can hold him in one spot until he's actually ready to go. 
Uh, we did not name tag him. Uh, let's go and do that. We have a trap door under here where we can actually go and get right underneath him and then name tag him. We have a series of trap doors actually. So I think this will probably be the best one. We can sort of the six has his name tag on. He's good. Let's make sure he didn't actually blow up the rail that he's sitting on because that would be horrible. Um, so we can release him again. Just have him go back and forth. And if he stays on the track, perfect. Boom. All right, so we'll have him sit right there. So that's done. This is done. This works. This is perfect. We control this whole system from inside this room. That's awesome. And, you know, this whole science lab idea, I'm actually really liking the idea. I think we do some cool, fun stuff like this. Uh, next episode, though, we're going to be working back up on our tree farm. Uh, that's actually it for this episode. So, you know, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. As always, though, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. And until next time, my friends, I am Lobo. That is Sawyer the Sixth, and we will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.